Hi guys, Gabrielle Vargas here to talk to you about three different books about three really strong independent girls who find strange friends in unlikely places. The first book I'm going to talk to you about is Flora and Ulysses, The Illuminated Adventures by Kate DiCamilla. Um, in this book, Flora is just hanging out on a summer day reading her comic books when she happens to see her neighbor vacuum up a squirrel. She runs outside, saves the squirrel from the vacuum cleaner, finds out that it's given him superpowers. Don't worry, it's not the best part. They go on a bunch of adventures, meet a bunch of different people, try to defeat some evil nemesis. It's a really great fun read for kids ages 6 to 9. I picked this book because it's a Newbery Award winner and also I really love graphic novel style books. I think the illustrations in the book really help to give kids some type of visualization to what they're reading, helps increase their imaginative imagination, and it ha does have really nice illustrations on it. So that's Flora and Ulysses, Illuminated Adventures by Kate DiCamilla. The second book is my favorite book. It's Gabby and Gator by James Burke. It's really good for age 12 year olds, especially those who are fans of Burke's other graphic novel series, Bird and Squirrel. Um, my favorite book because Gabby and I share a name and we share a similar style in room. Um, in this book, Gabby is just a regular girl trying to go about her regular day, getting her list of things to do done, and she kind of gets bullied a little bit by the kids in town, and one unlikely hero comes to save her from her bullies, but she might also have to save him. I'm not going to try and give it away, but Gabby and Gator is a really great book. I picked it because I love graphic novel style, and I really, really love all the colorful panels and illustrations. I think it really grabs the reader, helps them pay attention, keeps them engaged in the book. So, Gabby and Gator by James Burke. The last book is Little Robot by Ben Hatke. This one's really great for our six to nine year olds as well, especially those who like Ben Hatke's Legends of Zeta series. It's about this girl who's a little bit lonely. She goes off, doesn't go to school one day, and she finds a little robot in the woods. She fixes them up together. They play, they have fun, they have adventures. But something's following the robot and also following the little girl. So you'll have to find out what's following them. You'll read the book. Um, <clears throat> it's really pretty nonverbal. The robot doesn't speak. The little girl only speaks to the robot. It's really, I think, helps put the kids in the robot's place. Helps them think about what the dialogue could possibly be. I really liked it. Little Robot by Ben Hatke. So, hope you guys like this book talk. Be sure to check the books out at your local library.